It's me, Trudy, and if you are new, welcome. If you are not, thank you for coming back into my YouTube channel. Happy New Year, by the way. So, as you guys can see from the title of this video, this is actually an advice that no one asked for. I just decided to share with you guys, to share with those who just recently got out of matrix and they are not satisfied with their results it's either you got a total fail higher certificate um admission to bachelor's degree admission to diploma and you do not know whether you should go back to school full-time you should supplement which is i think it's also called part-time or you should upgrade so i'm going to advise you guys based on my personal experience okay so um how am i gonna show you guys this because i don't want to show you guys my id number i don't want to show you guys my id number it's not safe so um i actually did like i did metric i did grade 12 for the first time in 2018 and <laughs> i failed i failed till this day uh, it still feels like a dream because that's so unlike me. I know myself. And I know the reason why I failed. So, as far as I know, to be able to pass grade 12, you need five subjects. I mean, six subjects. And me, I only passed five, which is why I failed. And here I have my 2018... Um, statement and this is how it looks like these are my okay that's my name over there and these are my results and it's a total failure the candidate qualifies oh the candidate does not qualify for the national senate certificate the candidate qualifies for an entry to a supplementary exam since 2006 and now 2018 Trudy is failing and Trudy was like no okay I did go back to school 2019 in January and then apparently I failed early where I was studying but actually Fred is totally high so we were many those who failed and they were like they can accommodate all of us me being smart I was like, no, me now I'm gonna register for SAP. I'm not gonna come here full time again. Me, I'm tired. I'm tired of school. I've been I've been here for like you know, so I'm tired. I'm not, I'm not coming back here. I'm gonna register for SAP. I will write SAP and I will pass. I registered for SAP. I registered for SAP. Now I'm about to tell you guys a secret that even my dad or my sister doesn't know. I registered for SAP, guys, and we wrote in June. We were writing at Kufakwezwe High School. So, uh, we didn't have our exam. What is it? Is it exam admission? Yeah, that, that paper with your, your, your information and... The subjects that you are going to write so i didn't have that paper like us from freddy's tall we didn't have those papers so okay fine we write so they allowed us to write the exam and i was actually writing mathematics agriculture and physical science ne? so you guys see my results ne? this is how they look like mathematics physical science and agriculture so i was supplementing these three subjects because it only than the fading and then okay come results the results the booyah yeah 
And then I went to Freddy's Toy High School to watch Freddy's art. And they just showed us from a paper. They just showed us our results from this other paper. Why? Because from the start, we didn't even have admission slips. So in Jesus, it was complicated. So I remember I went from this nine that I got on mathematics to 12. An improvement from nine to 12. <laughs> okay guys so i actually went home after that and my dad asked me and i told him go you know what the results are too mang because guys it was embarrassing i got nine now i'm getting a 12. so i was like the results are too mang i lied that's the secret i told them go the results are too mang where else? I saw my results. I saw my 12. Okay, fine. I went back again. And I registered at... Uh, what's the... What's, what's, what's... Heritage Academy. There's a Heritage Academy here in Alsprate. So I went to Heritage Academy. And registered the same modules again. To write in December. So December came, guys, mind you, I was even attending extra classes from Disco. If you guys are from Bushback Ridge, you know Disco from Tulamash. I was attending meds at Disco. But I still failed. Not that Disco wasn't teaching us. Disco was teaching us, but in me, I was not practicing. Like, So I went back again. Um, 22. 2019 December, I went back again to write. Hmm. And January 2020, the results to Buya. Here's my name, by the way. And uh, these are the results. From 12 to 11, Agricultural Science, 25, Physical Science, 17. So guys, I sat down and confronted myself. I was like, you know what? 2019 is three, not having grade 12. It's painful. It's painful. So I was like, you know what, girl, now it's time to go back to school. Now it's time to stop playing. Because I remember 2019, I was even at a point whereby I would apply for jobs. And they want grade 12. That, that, that one, the same grade 12 that I do not have. So I was like, hey, you know what, it's time to go back to school. I did my research and I discovered Akunhuk Academy. There's a school in Akunuk called Akunuk Academy, just like near Dinsualo Hospital at the robots. So I went there to inquire and the next thing I was going there to register and it was March. Yeah, it was March, just a few days before COVID. I went there to register and everything was successful. I started with my classes. Unfortunately, we had to close schools and unfortunately COVID started and yeah, it was a mess. It was a mess. So we went back to school around uh, June, July, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we continued with the syllabus. We continued, we continued. Oh, when I went to Akonuk Academy, I switched from, let me see, I switched from from mathematics to maths literacy and from physical science to life sciences didn't even pass that life sciences i don't know what i was doing so yeah and you know guys when i went there i was already 20 years old in 2020 i was 20 years old like i was like like i i i i, I was at a point whereby i was like you know what i might probably there i might probably
probably be the oldest Lakers scholar this year because I'm 20 years old. Hey! I only vote this. When I got there, only to find that there are people who are 26 years old. I'm not bashing. I'm just, you know, there are people who are 26 years old, 24, 28. And I was like, what? Some of them, I'm going to jump in. So talk about, oh, like, it's comedy and you're not so. I won't mention names. Ne? But yeah. And it was nice, guys. It was nice. He joins, I joins, I joins, I joins, and then the next thing we're writing and trial exam for the first time in my life. I got 110 out of 150. Guys, got pumets, and a little got 50 and got 50 and got 50 got 50 marks. Me when I was doing pumets, but. With maths literacy, I was getting 110. Am I stupid or maths literacy is stupid? No. Fine, you guys. So I was actually excited. Go, cool. okay. So I'm actually capable of such things. Okay. So come final exam. I studied, guys. I would like, I was so serious because I couldn't afford to fail again. For the third time now, I failed 2020, 2020, 2018. I failed twice in 2019. 2020, I'm failing again. No, this can't be. So, like, I actually, like, pushed myself and studied. And another thing, I was paying school fees. I was paying transport. I think school fees was nine fifty per month. And my transport was, like, eight fifty per month. For me to fail, that's, like, close to... 12,000 pay for me to fail again. My dad would kill me. Like, it's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Like, I'm spending money that I do not have. On top of that, I'm failing. Doesn't make sense. I wrote my final exam, even though, like, some days were bad because. And when I got when I get to the exam room, some of the things in G they are lingering around in the exam room. Some of G it's a mess, but yeah. God did it. God did it for me. So in the following year, results came out. I think it was around February. And this is how my results were looking like. Why is it? Ah, my results came back and it was like, listen, this candidate qualifies for the National Senior Certificate and has met the minimum requirements for admission to bachelor's degree. Do you see that? Do you see that? And that's me. I did that. Three years. I did that. And now I have this. Unfortunately, it's not hot enough. I won't be good at all. But now I have this. Pashwana. It's an original, this one. It's an original. I show the Facebook. So you guys, okay. So you guys, what I'm trying to tell you is, from my experience, I would say, go back to school full time. Don't waste your time, just like me. Three years and why? 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 When I computer seven at the subject, uh uh, don't be like me. Go back to school full time. Yeah, yeah, some day skinny. Teachers are gonna make fun of you. Students are going to make fun with you. They are going to give examples about you. What do you say? What do you say? Enlargement. I don't know last year. What do you say? Or each and every question that they ask. 
enlargement give us an answer you were here last year so it's fine guys at some point it's gonna be painful you know but it's worth it it's worth it and another thing food i saw a post on facebook someone was asking whether they should you know supplement and people were like no go back to school full time go back to school full time go back to school full time so it means i'm actually not the one thinking that you should go back to school full time i'm actually not the only one so please do go back to school full time do not supplement do not do it part time do not upgrade go back to the class full time start afresh and now it's going to be easy because some of the things you did them last year even though i'm not sure too but now that you are serious you are going back you saw okay these are the results that i got and i'm not happy with them i am going back obvious you cannot go back to play again so go back and show them even if you if you even even if you are not showing them but prove it to yourself that you can do it prove it to yourself that you are capable me now ever since ever since I, I i i received this i know that i'm capable of anything that i set my mind to i know first like after 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 i received my thingy after i received my results I went into the University of Mpumalanga and as I speak, I'm doing my final year. I'm doing my final year this year and I'm not carrying any more jobs. Life hasn't been easy, but the fact that these two showed me that I am capable First, yeah, like, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. But I told myself, well, you know what? I'm capable. I'm going to do these things. I'm going to pass. Second year, I did the same. Because, Mina, guys, I always have, like, stress from Jordan. But I always pull through when it comes to my books. And, guys, it's all because of this. Here. Here here like this this here <laughs> all these papers guys all these papers proved to me that i am capable now i tell yourself that you are capable and go back in that class and do it again you get the marks that you want so that's actually it guys from me to you and thank you for watching this video if you feel like there's someone out there who would make use of this video please don't mind like i don't mind i don't mind so i guess now we don't mind sharing this video with them and please subscribe i would really appreciate that so uh, that's it